Okay, so continuing the discussion. Why do I look like that cow when I'm sitting like this? I don't know. Maybe I am. Anyway, and this is just some magical thinking. So we're going to continue that last discussion on caffeine. And like the other day, <laughs> I went through this phase, and it was like my post adolescent goth phase, worse than I am now. Because like, I am dead. I like all things. Dead. Like totally like amateur goth. Like not even being myself goth, just being ridiculous. And I go, I would drink nothing but coffee. I'm not even kidding you. And like I wouldn't eat either. It was just coffee for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then I'd like chow down on peanut butter and jelly. And I still like live off of coffee and peanut butter and jelly. But I have other things in my diet now. <laughs> and, um, but um, like I would stay up from. 6 a.m. to 3 a.m. So I get like three hours of sleep and then I go back with the coffee. And that's when they diagnosed me bipolar because then I go through this phase where I'd be like depressed and tired. I wasn't depressed. I was tired. I wanted to be left alone. But I, and I'd watch internet cartoons like in the dark of the night. The daylight hours, I do other shit. Like my parents would be having stuff. But like, and I, I would watch internet cartoons. I watched like Foamy and Muffin Films and Charlie and the Unicorn and all that film file shit and like Planet Unicorn. And it fucked me up so much. It's really funny. And that's part of the reason why I'm, I'm I mean, I'm more relaxed and more myself. I mean, I hardly call this relaxed, but. So the other day we were talking about instead of being anti-drug, you're anti-Jocelyn. Like they diagnose people with Jocelyn disease and they're just really spastic and fucked up in general. And I just thought some of you might get a kick out of that. And if you don't, fuck you. 